All right, hello. We are in Texas, as you know, because we've said it in the last, yes, besides that, we've said it in the last few videos, but excited to be here. We're setting up the shop. The time has come, so welcome. We don't know anybody in the area here, so we need to get to know people, but before we do that, we've got to set up a shop. So, let's go. We've got a lot of work to do. All right, so if you've been watching for a while, you know that we moved from North Dakota to Texas, and there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, we quit our full-time jobs. They required way more time than the money was worth, so we just decided to leave. We never really wanted to make a career out of those jobs anyway, but now that we've got a woodworking business started and we feel like we can make a run at this, we decided to move somewhere that was really populated. And Texas offers a large number of wealthy people, and our business model sort of depends on upper middle class, uh, upper class sort of clientele who don't mind paying seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars for a really nice kitchen table. So that's kind of why we moved to Texas. It also fits our style. It's closer to my family. And yeah, we just always, we've liked the South and we were sick of the cold after over a dozen blizzards, me being stuck at work for three or four days at a time and negative temperatures around the clock. We're ready for a change. So the South is gonna be a really nice change with all the heat. Matt Carmona, you can just keep all that cold weather to yourself. We don't want it anymore. Thanks for leaving me all the cold weather. I was worried there wasn't gonna be enough to go around. <laughs> Like I said, we don't really know anybody here yet. Uh, we haven't met any potential clients or anything like that, but that's fine because before we do that, we need our shop set up. And before we start taking stuff out of boxes and throwing it everywhere like we kind of want to do right now, we are just like eager to get unpacked. Um, we've got to start out by taking some measurements because we want to set this shop up very efficiently. Hold that. Put it on that wall. All right, this is 10 feet. All right, take this and go to that wall. All right, so it looks like we got a 20 foot wall this way. 22 feet, what did we say the first one was? 20? Okay. I should probably write this down, huh? And it's five feet with a two and a half inch drop. All right, what's up? So we finally got our shop layout, or at least the first draft of it set up. So we'll just walk you through. Uh... Hey, Jenny. I changed my mind. Typical. <laughs> uh, so this is the new uh, shop layout that I've decided on. I basically just flipped everything. So the tables back here, those were right here. This yeah. is where the new tool wall is gonna be. Okay and then router table welding, and then like just a tool cart. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah, I do. Okay. I like that. I like this much better. Let's just do what you want to. Please don't be polite, cause I like your attitude. Let's forget about a curfew, cause all Stuck in my head, it's me and you Both speed and my heart is pacing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true We make out for the thrill of it Mess around for the thrill of it Don't stop now, never let this end
Here it is, here it is. We got really tired last night and just decided we we're gonna take our foot off the gas, call the night. I got my domino, I got to try it out for the first time. The dust collection for it and yeah. everything. Yeah, it's it's a really nice system. And um, we got our dust collector hooked up because we We sold our last one just because they're so cheap and they're everywhere. Well they're not everywhere because we drove to four different harbor freights all over Houston to try and find yeah. one last night. That's kind of why we called it quits after we finally got one. It was a lot like, of driving, we hit traffic too. But yeah. yeah, so we got that all hooked up today and then we built this beauty that we're Which sitting on. Which you just on. saw. So we're gonna go ahead and get the CNC machine. We're gonna build a little table for it so we can store things under it. Because our problem right now is so we're just trying to like put stuff away, but it's just making we're moving clutter. boxes around five different times and I don't like that. I just want to have a nice home for everything to go. But I gotta build that until I have to build the things it goes into. So I have to move everything around six <laughs> yeah. times while I'm trying to build it. So it's just frustrating. I I mean, when you start a shop, usually it's I don't know, the last house is where we started our shop, and so it's kind of weird now having to move a shop after we already built everything else. So it's not like we're slowly mm -hmm. acquiring tools and building out the cabinets as we get tools. We already have everything, you know, we gotta move it around yeah. and shuffle it to and it's hard when you had your, when it was like your very first shop that you put a lot of time into, a lot of that you assign as like the norm or like how you're supposed to do it or how you think you're supposed to have it all set up. And then you get to a new space, you're like, I don't know, I don't know any other way to do it other than like what my first shop was, but it's just kind of playing around. I think we've switched the layout up like two times already. Yep. It's slowly coming together. I think we're going to like it when it's finally done, but we just got to get rid of this cardboard and just get some cabinets and stuff built. All right. And while we're taking a quick break, let's thank our sponsor for this week. And that is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. Explore classes and everything from photography and creative writing to marketing, productivity, and more. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality classes from experts working in their fields to help you gain new skills and live your best life. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable and annual subscription is less than $10 a month. So one of the classes I was looking into is one of their newer interior design classes. And I know I've talked about it before, but I really like it, especially moving into this new house. I didn't know how I was gonna make it look good and be livable, but using some of the decorations I had from our old place and looking through this course, it really helped me set up an awesome environment between kitchens, bedrooms, whatever. It helped me figure out what decorations were gonna help certain spaces look the best. And Skillshare wants to give you guys two months of Skillshare Premium absolutely free. You just have to go to the link in the description or you can go to this address right here and it'll take you to where you can sign up and yeah. You'll give get, it a shot. Yeah, you'll get two months for free. You'll see if you like it. Um, there's tons of stuff. Like guys, like I said before, we've used this product for years and years. We really mm -hmm. enjoy it. So we're happy that they wanted to work with us. Take a look for yourself and see if it's something you want. The only downside is that you learned something. Darn it. <laughs> All right, let's get back to building.
I have no idea how the audio is going to be. Um, we just got new iPhones and I didn't get the little dingle dongle for yeah, the, so the mic to work. So, whatever, but... We went swimming in October, didn't we? We're at the beach with Bruce today and yeah, went on down to Galveston because it's just such a quick drive and um, yeah, it's, it's mind blowing to think that this is within driving distance. But anyway, just taking just, some time off. Yeah. We've been busting our butt this week on the shop. We haven't really taken much time off. We so, just kind of moved. Yeah, we just need to take our foot off the gas and just have a fun evening together. So we're just going to watch the sunset by the ocean. Is that okay with everyone? It's okay with me. Uh, me too. Bruce hates the water though. He's so cold, he's shivering. Uh, it's like almost 90 degrees. We right left now. North Dakota Maybe. and it's October and we're at the beach. Our little pansy Doberman is still cold. All right, well, I'm gonna get back to enjoying the beach. Bye. All right, there's not really any tips for this week, but we wanted to talk a little bit about why we're laying the shop out in the way that we did. And it's honestly, it's really similar to most shops, but kind of the, the way that we're thinking about it is we are gonna produce very few products. We're not gonna be jumping around from a kitchen table this week to a coat buffet rack next to week, a coat rack to nice, like we were in the last shop. Yeah. This, we're gonna be focused on as few products as possible. We're gonna offer a couple different variations, but in large part, it's gonna be very similar products that we can batch out at scale. Mm -hmm. Because when we wanna start hiring employees, the more complexity you ask your employees to be able to do, the, the more, more error and confusion and time, which costs money and labor costs. Right. The woodworkers that are going to have the skill sets to do lots of different things, number one, we're not going to be able to afford to pay them. And number two, mm -hmm. they're not going to want to come work for us. So we have to be able to teach woodworking to someone who's brand new, never used a saw before. That way we can sort of build them from the ground up and they can build the products that we've already optimized right. for a batch build. Getting that started means we have to have a reputation in the local area for similar products, large kitchen tables, We want to be boards. the go-to. Like we are the one they call. Right, we, so we're transitioning away from just general woodworking and more towards a table company and just kind of go in that direction. Of course, we're going to get our foot in the door with some cutting boards and serving boards and it right. doesn't mean we're never going to build things like that. we're using the CNC for signs and stuff like that. Right, right. so we're still going to do like maybe four or five different style of products, yeah. but the number of options is going to be extremely limited and... Streamlined. <laughs> yes, just streamlined for production. So we're going to sort of get our feet wet in that area. So that's why we're buying a lot of new tools. That's why we're like organizing and getting rid of a lot of things mm -hmm. is because if it doesn't directly relate to the type of products that we want to build, we want to get rid of it. So we're going to focus on maximizing the workspace in case we get an order for five, 10 tables at a time. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to batch out cutting boards four or five days in a row and end up with another hundred yeah. or so. So how this relates to you is if you're only making a certain type of project or you know of a certain project that does really well for you in your area and you can sell a lot of, maybe think about reorganizing your shop, move some things around, make a different outfeed table, have a different um, workflow in your garage because if 80% of the time you're making cornhole boards and those are selling really well, why are you wasting your time with other things? You could be making more money by making more cornhole boards faster. So that's kind of our advice to you is just maybe get SketchUp, you can get a free version of it and draw your shop up in SketchUp and move some tables around virtually just so you can physically see what's going on and see, I don't know, maybe it might be worth rearranging your garage mm -hmm. on a Saturday. So. And honestly, there are gonna be some limitations to it. Like you may not have the ideal perfect shop. For example, for us, we don't have as many outlets as we used to have in our old shop. So we're somewhat <laughs> limited by hooking up electricity and where extension cords will go. And for you, that might be something completely different. Maybe there's a window smack dab in the middle of the wall. You're gonna have limitations. Anyway, do the best with what you have. And we're talking like highest amount of efficiency for where you are right now. And that's why SketchUp is such a great tool to use for that because you can physically see it in mm -hmm. virtual reality. I was about to say, you can see it in reality and I was like, I don't know what half the population is visual so that for half of you out there that might be some useless mm -hmm. tip uh, to just draw it up in the computer and maybe you can get a better feel for 
how things are gonna look. It's certainly not perfect, but it's a great layout. We're gonna have a shop tour coming very soon once we get everything up and settled. We've still got yeah. a lot of tools to buy. As we sold our bandsaw, we need to get another one of those. We need to build a router table. We need to get a welding table. We need to get a new welder. A lot of stuff we need to get. But once it's all set up and we start making production runs of cutting boards and things like that to hand out to local businesses, then we'll give you guys a shop tour. So subscribe if you haven't already and you can stay up to date and you can see that video when it drops. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and sharing this crazy week and a half with us. <laughs> Uh, it's just feels uh, like it's been a month. <laughs> uh, I, we've only been, we've literally been in this house for two weeks and it feels like it's been two months with the amount of crap. And then that makes done. us feel like we're super behind, but it's like, that's all in your head. That's okay. That's though. for a different video. It's I great. Guess. It's great. I don't, uh, we don't have to worry about our full time jobs anymore. Uh, it's just, it's a really nice yeah. feeling. The, throttle up or throttle down is. I'd much rather be on the hook for making my own money. That's a double edged sword because. Hey, right. But hey, my freedom is worth it. So, anyway. All right. Well, y'all have a great week and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs>